gang, this is Stormy. Thank you guys so much for joining me back here on Super Hostel Online, which is also known as SHO. And if you guys will recall, last episode we logged off by that big old pyramid. And this time I found the hole underneath by this littler one. So let's climb up on top and see what's going on up there. And then we'll see if we can get into some trouble underneath it. How does that sound? <clears throat> oh my goodness. Throat's a little bit tired. I just got done with another, well... I didn't do a stream. Bex did a stream, but I was on the stream with him along with Geek of Many Topics and Brodrax and Amethyst Raindrops and, oh God, Geek, Bro, Amethyst, me, and Vex. Was that it? I think that was it. It, it we were playing Terraria. It'll probably be, or is it, I think I saw this. Right, I saw this, but I didn't find the hole underneath. We seek our own personal heaven constantly and sometimes found. Cool. I wonder who put those signs there. But there is a hole to get underneath of here. Over here, I think this is how you get underneath here. I fell in there. Um, somebody was telling me that there's a cave system under these pyramids. So I'd kind of like to see. I hope it's not too dark under here. Because guess what I didn't bring? Oh, good. There's torches. Arrgh, stop hitting me, please. Now, these are not resetting right now. This area isn't. But it can anytime. And uh, you will not necessarily be warned first, so just keep that in mind. Well, cool. This is cool. This is this is awesome. We get to actually do a cave thing here. I haven't done a cave thing in a little bit. Um, does this go down anywhere? <gasps> oh, it does. Oh crap. I'm out. I don't. Well, it's not that I'm out of torches. I didn't bring any. I wasn't anticipating. Um, well, I mean, I knew I wanted to come down in the cave. I don't know why I didn't go back to town and get torches real quick. I just did not, so. Hi, creeper. Bye, creeper. Uh, very nice. That's very cool. Um, hi, spider. No, don't shoot me. Whoa, did you see him run into the side like he had something to say? Well, he didn't say it. He died too quick. So, from my understanding... These, um, I hear a spider. It's probably going to knock me into that creeper. And then I will die, and I'll drop all my things a gazillion miles away from home, where I cannot possibly get back to it in time. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Hey, stop that. Ooh, thank you. So we're just walking through this cave for right now. I don't, uh, really have any other definite plans at the moment. So we'll do this for a little bit. Please do not let that Enderman think I'm looking at him. I want nothing to do with that Enderman. There's no Ender Pearls in this map, so as far as I'm concerned, there is zero reason to kill Enderman. Ow, ow, what the heck? I have been having some issues with my internet, like I've told you guys, but I think they seem to be working better. Um, I was able to play Terraria a little better, at least. I've been having a lot of trouble with that, so... Oh! Wow, I killed him. I did not actually expect to kill that guy. Was that an enchanted bow? No. Ah! Oh. That's an enchanted bow. Man, where are they coming from? Is there a spawn up there, or are those natural spawns? I think they're probably... Die. I think they're probably natural spawns. Now, we actually have a really nice... We have some really nice gear, so hopefully we won't die. Why was there a sand block right there? Oh, right, the monster dropped it. You saw me. I kind of figured you would. Um, seem to be having trouble hitting anything, though. Like, I really am having trouble hitting things with my bow. Although mostly in Kaizo, not so much in here, so it seems like. And I'm not sure what my problem in Kaizo was. Um, but I sure, certainly haven't been able to hit anything over there, so... Yeah, whatever. Monsters in Kaizo Cavern are a damn sight safer from me than the ones here. Oh, that's interesting. That looks like a leaf block and two uh, half slabs. Huh. I'm going to assume that the person that put them there knows why they put them there. I, myself, haven't a clue. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing great. Like I said, I, I had a great time. Uh, streaming with Vex and the other people that were able to come and do that. So that's fun. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty odd. Don't hit me. Well, I mean, you can hit me, I guess, if you must. But, uh, I'll hit you back. And I hit harder than you do. 
Oh, really? You're going to come up from down there, huh? Come up from the basement and start stuff. Sit down. Got nothing on me. Awful lot of bravado there, Stormy, considering you just got your ass handed to you in Terraria. Hmm. There's a hole. Oh, that's a dark hole. That doesn't go anywhere. That's a dark hole that doesn't go anywhere. Well, if a hole has to be dark, it's preferable if it doesn't go anywhere. I have no idea why I just took fall damage right there. That seemed kind of wonky. I mean, obviously, I fell too far, and, well, yeah, that. But, uh, didn't realize it was going to be a thing. Look at you with your fancy shovel. Are you going to drop it for me? No. Spoil sport. Maybe I wanted to dig something. Jackass, you could have given me your shovel. It's still there. I swear. Uh, I haven't moved. I haven't moved out, and I haven't taken my potted plant and stuff from in front of it. I haven't changed anything on it. I have no idea. Hmm. Cool. So where else do we want to go? Those look like arrows pointing that way. I know they're just brush strokes, but they look like arrows. Die, please! Damn it. Aw, oh, he blew up the gold nugget. Why did he take so many hits? I don't think Vex messed, messed with the monsters. I think these are vanilla, aside from their drops. He sure took a lot of hits. Well, who knows? Maybe I was getting just really crappy rolls on the power. So it's only power two. So it could take... I hit him once with the axe and then a couple of arrow. I don't know. I've completely forgotten now what I even hit him with. Oh. Look at you being nice and, you know, oblivious. I like that. Nice oblivious monsters. All right. I'm not seeing a whole lot down in here. Including a way back up. I saw him spawn, but he spawned far enough away. I'm pretty sure it was a random spawn. I'm trying to figure out what that block right there is. Is that those leaves? Stop that. Is there a villain back here somewhere shooting at me? Oh, it's an ender chest. Cool. That's actually kind of handy. Let's go dump some stuff off. How about that? That sounds like a fantastic plan. Hi, Skelly. Wow. That was nice. So I figure it's going to be good to have XP bottles. Because, um, oh, why do I have all the Explorer potions in my ender chest? I thought I put those in my... I thought I put those in the uh, guild stuff, guild plot. Huh. I better go drop that off, huh? Sorry, guys. My bad. All right. So I wonder if there's anything else down in here to look at. I, this area is not finished. Not everything has been implemented that should be, or not that should be, but that's, that, that he's planning should be added. Like, you know, as far as he knows, it should be added. You know what I mean by should be. Um, and it's not all here yet, so that's going to take a little bit, and we don't want it all added at once, because then people would play all the new content at once, and get bored, so. So, I think I'm going to pause, and I'll work my way up out of this cave, damned if I know how yet, but I'll manage, and, uh, get back to town, and I will find something else for us to do, so don't go away, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back. That was only a minute for you guys, but it's been a few days for me because I've been so busy with end of summer stuff because my kids go back to school already. The reason is because after every nine-week grading period, the kids get a two-week break here so that if any kids have fallen far behind, um, they have a chance to get the first week of that two-week break is used for intense uh, um, tutoring to help any kids catch up. Like, let's say my son falls and breaks an arm. And misses and has to have surgery. Oh, God, that's a horrifying thought. Let's say the random neighbor could falls and breaks an arm and misses, you know, two months or eight weeks of school because of surgery. Uh, the two-week break would be used to um, 
help that kid catch up. So that's why my kids go back to school at the end of July. They only get an eight-week break. Where is my stone brick? Apparently, I don't have any stone brick anywhere. So, um, yeah, we went to uh, some caves yesterday. My husband and I took the kids to the Grand Canyon Caverns. If you guys are curious, you can check it out. It's, they're really fascinating. It's a really interesting place to go. Um, I love going there. I went there once when my daughter was very small, like a, like a baby, basically. I think she was like two. Um, uh, we went there, and then we went um, again. You know, now she's 14. Uh, really, really awesome cave. So lots of fun um and uh oh yeah I, I really need to take these to the guild um so we did that and let's see uh that's good enough so i finished the map i was playing kaizo caverns is done i finished it oh, balls it whatever so, yeah, that's uh, right now all I've got going is, okay, well, first of all, for this episode, here's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to mess around with making a mini dungeon. So, yeah, do a little bit of experimenting and, and uh, do some building. This, so this is going to be another creative building episode, which is fun. It's a fun time. Um, I kind of want to update you guys. So, you know, I want to... Uh, Uh, you know, do an update and stuff in chat. So this is an easy way for me to do it. Which one do I use, I wonder? Um. Um. Hmm. Let me poke bro and see which one of these I use. Because I know there's the master structure block. Or the master structure. Um. I don't know which one. I want to be sure I don't use the wrong one. So let me figure that out, you guys, and I will be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. Uh, Bro Jack took this up. He got me a nice, fresh mini dungeon, structure block, doohickey put together here. He said, when I'm done, to just hit save, which I guess is this. So, yeah. Um, he showed me how to use these. Uh, uh, just between us, I'm still a little bit intimidated of using them. But, uh, so this is our, oh, looky, this is our blank slate, our building block, if you will, which we will then put other building blocks in, in some arrangement, and will thus give us a mini dungeon, maybe, maybe, I don't know, and I don't know, I mean, obviously, I, uh, I don't want to spoil it all by building it on camera, but uh, I'll do some of it on camera. Now, this is the space we have. I believe it's 32 by 32, but don't quote me on that. Um, so it's a good size. It's a good size. I'm When we were on the uh, temp server, I made a mini dungeon for Vex. I don't think I ever actually, I don't think I ever recorded it. I don't think I ever showed it on camera. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't. I just didn't. Uh, I don't think I did. So this is probably, that's probably going to be kind of my uh, inspiration or whatever for this. Um, at least to start with. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to see what we can do and what I can accomplish here um, for this place. So... So I guess the first thing I need to figure is do I want this to be a challenge dungeon wherein you go in with an empty inventory and I give you the tools to beat the dungeon with? Do I want to go that route with it or do I want it to be a typical adventure dungeon where you lose your items, you know, you, you bring your own items, Right. Anyway, uh, so I'm not sure 
quite how I want to do this. I think I might want to make it an adventure dun or a challenge dungeon. That way people, because I don't, I don't, I don't want people to lose items on my dungeon and like lose their stuff. Like I don't, I don't like that. Um, I don't like, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to do that. So um, I think I might just uh, like start people out with, with a starter kit of items to make it through the dungeon with. Okay. So there's decision number one. Also, I think for right now, I'm going to leave the, the bedrock and I'm not going to wall it quite yet. I want to work out the basic path of it and the basic idea of what I want it to do and where I want it to go. So let's go ahead and grab out some something. You know what? Because I can, I'm going to use dirt and I'm going to use cobblestone. Whoops, just for now. For my um, building, like my, my building blocks. So, I want this to be a house. Right. Okay, yeah. I think I want this to be a house. Because that's kind of how my other one was. Um, so, I think I want people to come in. Let's bring this in now. Let's do this. Okay, I'm just mapping out the bare bones idea. So I'm not going to, uh, anyway, yeah, I recently finished, I'm sorry, I totally didn't even, but I recently finished Kaizo Caverns. Um, got all the wool in that, it was a great map, had a great time. I currently have Firewatch going, um, which is a, uh, like a dialogue driven story, um, or plot driven game. I'm not sure, like, what I would call it. Um, and I have this going on my channel. And this is going to be uh, obviously an ongoing thing. Also the vanilla server, when that's the Vexilla server, when that's up and running, um, I'll record on there some as well. So, uh, but I'm at, for right now, I'm not immediately starting another map on my channel. Um, I'm just going to have the one Minecraft series and Firewatch going, uh, just for now. I will, you know, just, I'm just feeling, filling that out and seeing how that goes. Um, only having, you know, the one, cause this Firewatch is my first non Minecraft series. So, um, like, yeah, I, I'm just seeing, kind of feeling out how it's going to be to have a series that isn't Minecraft on my channel. Um, and I am building, not exactly at random, but I don't quite know for sure what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing what feels good. Um, so I'll see how that goes. But uh, I know that pretty before too long, I'm going to get some kind of other series going on my channel. I'll have to. Um, particularly once I'm done with Firewatch, there'll be definitely another series going. Um, but I don't know how long that game is. I've never played it, so... And then let's see. And then I want to have a break right here. And then I want to have a wall right here. Maybe like this. And then maybe like this. Have a low wall here and then have a spider spawner here. Spiders can come out there, maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of um kind of exciting. Uh I don't yet know what I'm gonna do. What my second well I'm gonna do um Sea of Flame is going to be my next CTM map I do. As far as I know, unless something comes up that changes that. Um, so yeah, this is just me kind of derping. There can be a spider spawner here and a spider spawner here. They can get up and through here. And then you can go up here, okay. And then you can go here as well. Um, hey, 
There's another phantom spawner. Is that a possible jump? Oh yeah, that's possible. Okay, so we'll do this. And obviously I'm just laying out the template here and uh, you guys are along for the ride. Because I've never done this on camera, so I figured this would be kind of a fun thing to do. Um, with you guys, just kind of build a mini dungeon a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then let's put another right there. Okay, that's a that's a jumpable jump. And this one will be the uh, this will be the next or this it's uh, this will be a platform up here. So yeah, it's going to uh, whoops. It's probably going to take me a couple of episodes to finish this, but that's okay. Um, that will... Uh, just something different. Let's see. So, whoops. Screwed up my own jump. Whoops. Screwed up my own block. Now, yeah, this is just dirt. i got to remember. This doesn't have to look great. This is just me getting an idea of what I want to do. Whoops. And then this is going to be pillars that come down, I think. About like this. Yeah, there can be a thing right here. Um. <laughs> He's... Hmm... Evil at work. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be a meanwhile I'm sitting here, you know, making a dungeon. <laughs> La da 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 da. Now, there's going to be. And then I think. Whoops. Whoops. Ah. Whoops. I think I'm going to make this to where people can't jump over it. So, like, if you get knocked down, you have to go all the way back around, back over to here, and try again, I think. And so this here, I think, will be... Oh, it feels so good to build with dirt and cobble. <laughs> not that that's not what the final dungeon's going to be. It's just like I said, it's my it's my 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 building blocks of practice. My building blocks of I didn't know what I was going to make, so I'm just, you know, throwing the throwing blocks down and hoping something flows. It will. It will. This is early days yet, so by early days, I mean early, um, early in the building process. That looks like a jungle gym. Now, how do I, I'm trying to figure out where to go with this next. Because I want it to be like, they can go this way. And go in there. Or they can go there. And then make this back here. Because that way... Um, but this will, will connect to this. But there will be a wall here. Here, let me make this out of cobble. To kind of indicate the wall that the player would be walking by here. Okay. Oh, and I ordered a new keyboard, and it's a mechanical keyboard, so 
Hopefully it won't be too clicky loud, especially since my microphone is a, it's a headset mic. It does, it's not a desk mounted mic. So I'm hoping that'll keep it from being too loud. But uh, my keyboard is kind of needed replaced. It's not being real responsive in case you guys hadn't noticed. So uh, yeah, my husband got me a mechanical keyboard for my birthday. Um... So I think I want another series of platforms right here. And I want there to be an immediate platform here. So as soon as you come through here, you have to deal with, with a flight of steps. And I want to go up one more with this. Damn it. Oh, right. Why am I doing that? I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. Do, 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 do. Um, uh, maybe this won't be a house. Maybe it'll be a tree. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll do it as a tree house. That might work too. Because if I do it as a tree house, I can make... Um, yeah, maybe I will do that. Because then I can make platforms and stuff up here too. So yeah, that might be that might be a fun thing to kind of do, right? Right? Could be fun. Could be. We'll see. I'm not gonna show you guys the spawners. I think when I when I get the spawners put together and put in and everything, I think I'm not gonna show you guys all that. But I will run through the dungeon if you guys want. Yeah, that's totally a doable jump. Oh yeah, that's easy. That's an easy jump. But I feel like I like I need to somehow redeem myself because I'm not that bad at jumping. Yeah, I didn't think so. But uh, man, 82 made me look bad. So I have to figure out a way to redeem myself to prove that I'm not that bad of a jumper. Okay, here's a platform here. Let's, well, I shouldn't have broken that. I like how I just keep sneaking along. Like it, you know, like I'm going to fall. Um, there we go. And, oh, that's doable. Right? I wasn't flying and accidentally. I think that's doable. Oh, pfft. see, that's what I mean by, you know, my keyboard isn't real responsive. My space bar, I swear, is getting worn out. Now, I made it once. Was I flying? I don't know. Maybe it's not doable. But that is. Okay, fine. I'll just do that. There we go. Okay. So, it's going to have some light parkour. But nothing too drastic. Just the fun, whoops, just fun parkour, I think. Um, with big jumps that make you feel good at parkour. <laughs> and let's see. And then down here, so around this corner is going to be I know, I know, I know, I know. We're going to make a thingy that goes all the way up. There's going to be a ladder in there, and it's going to take you all the way up at the top, and you can see, maybe. And maybe you can try a really tricky jump. So, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Sorry I keep getting quiet. I'm thinking. I, I did this so I could, you know, kind of update you guys while I did it. I don't know why I thought that would be easy to do. Because, you know, I have to keep stopping talking to think. Yeah, this is easy. Easy jumps. Easy jumps. All right. I don't know. I don't know about my lookout tower idea. Might be cool if it was for a single player, but I don't know how well it would work with multiplayers. 
Um, and then what do I want this corner to be? It needs to be something. Maybe a little garden, maybe with a tree in it. Yeah, that might be nice. Yeah, that there's an idea. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay. And then, um, yeah. So, well, I'll put, uh, I think I'll put like a little, like a little garden here with a little tree and then underneath it, you know, um, put flowers and stuff. And then I can come over here. Hmm. And then I think I want to make a mount uh, or a little hill type thing over against this wall over here. Make a little mound, you know, whoops. Of course, all this will be filled in, but make a little mound like this <laughs> that is crazy and then hmm hmm you know what, you guys? I think this episode has actually gone on plenty long enough. Uh, but this is off to a solid start, and I have a pretty good idea of what I think I want to do. So this should be fun. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Let me know what you think. Well, I, w <laughs> I would say what you think of the mini dungeon so far, but uh, it's kind of, well, it's, you know, not much to look at yet. But uh uh, it will be. It'll be fun, you guys. It'll be fun. And probably it'll be very, uh, very stormy-ish, I have a feeling. So, yeah, tune back in for that. And I will see you guys real soon. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Take care. <laughs> Bye now.